Friends and family, you have been invited here today to share with this man and this woman the most important moment in their lives to witness, bless, and unite Jared Jerome Gray and Ariel Brooke Hudson in holy matrimony. Who gives this woman to be married to this man? You may be seated. Marriage is a commitment to life, to the best that two people can find and bring out in each other. It offers opportunities for sharing and growth, a spiritual and emotional joining that is promised for a lifetime. Its sacredness and unity is like the relation between Christ and his church, and is therefore the most significant and binding covenant known to mankind. Because of this, it is not to be entered into lightly, but reverently, deliberately, and in accordance with the purpose for which it was instituted by God. You know, we're here to celebrate with Jared and Ariel, but we wouldn't be here at all today if it wasn't for me. They met in our youth ministry. It was significant in bringing them together. It was about four years ago. Uh, we took a, a trip to Atlanta, and Jared and Ariel came. But uh, that was also the same time when the game Angry Birds came out. And Jared was absolutely obsessed with that game. He played it nonstop the entire time. I mean, we barely had every conversation. He was staring at that screen. And when we finally saw him take a break from playing Angry Birds to talk to Ariel, we knew that something special was happening. <laughs> and, of course, um, they hit it off. I have never met a couple who shares as much, who has as much in common as they do. They both have a love for the outdoors and hunting. I mean, they even wore matching camo outfits in their engagement pictures. But more importantly than all those things is they both share a love for God, and they both have a huge heart to serve. Jared is a fun and outgoing person. It's always a joy to be around him. But over the years, I've come to know him as a very loyal and committed and loving individual. And I know that he's going to bring that same love and commitment and loyalty to their marriage. Ariel is... Faithful, caring, and compassionate. Her love for Jesus inspires so many of our students in their relationship with Jesus. And I know that her gentle and nurturing spirit will bring strength and stability in their relationship. And I'm honored to be here with you guys and to share in this moment. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for uh, Jared and Ariel. God, for uh, the love that they have for each other and the love that they have for you. And so, God, as they come to... to be made one before you in their sight. God, we ask for your presence to be with them and to rest upon them. As they begin their journey together, God, may their love for each other and you grow stronger each and every day. Amen. When God created man and placed him in the garden, he said it's not good for man to be alone. So God prepared a helper and companion for man, woman. In this act of creation, God didn't take the woman from the man's head so that he should rule over her, nor from his feet that he should trample on her, but from his side that she should be equal with him, and from close to his heart that he should love, cherish, and honor her. Then God presented the woman to man that each might be each other's helper and companion. Jared and Ariel, we have come to bring you together in marriage, presenting you as one before God. Jared, God has ordained the man as the spiritual head as the responsible provider, and as the initiator of love in this relationship. His, with his strength, you must be Ariel's protection, her haven, and her greatest admirer. Ariel, it is God's purpose that you be a loving wife, that you respond to Jared's love in tenderness and a deep sense of understanding through a great faith in Christ who brought you together. It is his desire that you'd be Jared's greatest source of encouragement and support. To the both of you, always remember Ephesians 5 when it says, Husbands, go all out in your love for your wives, exactly as Christ did for the church. A love marked by giving, not getting. Christ's love makes the church whole. His words evoke her beauty. Everything he does and says is designed to bring the best out of her. And that is how husbands ought to love their wives as they're already one in marriage. And may the both of you never take each other's love for granted. But always experience the wonder that exclaims, out of all the world, you have chosen me. And when life is done, may be found then, as you do now, side by side, still thanking God for each other. 
If you freely and deliberately choose each other as partners and know of no just cause why you should not be united, then please face one another and join hands as you recite your vows. As you pronounce your vows in faith, the power of God is released and a miracle takes place. You are united by God and become as one in his sight. Your words are the contract that God witnesses, signs, and forever gives strength to keep. Jared, repeat after me. On this night, in the presence of God, I, Jared, take you, Ariel, to be my wife. I commit myself to love, honor, and protect you for the rest of my life. I choose to walk beside you when life is good and through every storm. You were designed for me by God. And I hope others may see his heart, love and grace in the way I care for you. Ariel, repeat after me. On this night, in the presence of God, I, Ariel, take you, Jared, to be my husband. I commit myself to love, to love, honor, and protect you, honor and protect you for, the rest of my life. for the rest of my life. I choose to walk beside you when life is good and through every storm. You were designed, you were designed for, me for me by God. By God. And, I hope others and I hope others may see his heart, may see his heart love, and grace love and grace in the way I care for you. Please pass me the rings. The ring is a precious covenant symbol and a token of your faith and love. This ring is made of precious metal which has value because it is least tarnishable and most enduring. It is also an emblem of eternity, a never-ending circle that indicates the continuing love of God. I charge you to wear these rings as a continual reminder of the covenant you have made to each other and to God. Jared, take this ring and place it upon Ariel's left ring finger and say to her, I, Jared, I, Jared take, you, Ariel, take you, Ariel, to be my wife, to, be my wife, to have and to hold, to have and to hold in, sickness and in, health, in sickness and in health, for richer or for poor, for, or for, poor, for, today, for today, tomorrow, tomorrow and, for all the days to come. and for all the days to come. Ariel, take this ring and place it upon Jared's left ring finger. And say to him, I, Ariel, I, Ariel take, you, Jared, take you, Jared, to be my husband, to, be my husband, to have and to hold, to have and to hold in, sickness and in, health, in sickness and in health, for richer or for poor, for, richer or for, poor, for, today, for today, tomorrow, tomorrow and, for all the days to come. and all the days to come. At this time, Jared and Ariel have chosen to assemble the Unity Cross. Jared, it is the outer form of the cross that represents the strength, leadership, and protection of the man in your relationship. Ariel, it is the inner peace of the cross that represents the beauty and many capabilities of the woman. As the peace with intricate and beautiful detail is placed inside the protection of the outer frame, the cross is displayed and the two become one. This represents the covenant you are making here today. We are placing three pegs to hold it together, representing the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, showing God's place in this covenant and the security and completeness that only comes from God. this time, Jared and Ariel have chosen to enter into communion to signify their commitment to Christ and to acknowledge his sacrificial death on the cross.
There must be a God, I believe it's true, cause I can see his love when I look at you, and he must have a plan for this crazy life, cause he brought you here and placed you by my side. And I so sure of anything before like I am in this moment here with you and now for better or for worse are so much more than only words and I pray every day will be the proof that I mean what I say when I say do I mean what I said when I said I do you see these hands you hold will always hold you up when the strength you have just ain't strong enough and what tomorrow brings only time will tell but i will stand by you in sickness and in hell because i am never been so sure Jared and Ariel have given themselves to each other with the profession of their vows and the giving and receiving of rings, I pronounce that they are husband and wife in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And as the scripture says, those whom God has joined together, let no one separate. Jared, you may now kiss the bride. According to the laws of the state of Georgia and by the authority of God, I gladly present to you Mr. and Mrs. Jared Gray. happy couple would like to invite all of you to come and celebrate with them at their reception. A map and directions are available on the guest book table on your way out. Thank you so much.